Hello everybody, and today I got more questions to answer. What cubes would you be willing to trade off? Now some people know this, but not a lot of people actually is. I am pretty much willing to trade off any cube in my collection that I can get another one of. So, um, basically just cubes that they're still mass producing or anything like that, because I can always get another one, but you may be trading something that is either really good or not something that they mass produce. So. Uh, a lot of them actually. Should I make a road to sub 3 video on 2x2? Two two? Basically learning algs, basic one looking, and TPS. You see Chris Olsen already has videos on similar stuff like this and so I don't feel like it would be necessary. It might be better to put your time into making a unique video that a lot of people would like to watch. I got my wisdom teeth pulled out this morning. How was your day? A lot better than yours I think. What competitions do you go to? All the ones in the US or just the ones around your home state? At the moment, I'm only going to the ones around my home state because I don't have like a really well paying job. If I was making money on YouTube, however, I would try to fly to competitions around the US and just meet as many people as I possibly could. But at the moment, I'm just going to ones around my home state and then um, you know, one to two far away competitions a year, so, yeah, sorry. Even or odd layer cubes? I'm gonna have to go with odd layer cubes because I just like them better, because, uh, there's no parody on them, and I don't especially like parody, so, yeah. What's your PV 2x2 two two through 7x7 seven seven and Pyraminx? Uh, I'm not going to answer my PVs in this video, I'm just going to let you know that if you click on my channel down here area, and then you, up at the, like, right under the picture, I think, the, um, there's, uh, there's a tab that has, like, uh, like, videos and search and stuff. And you, if you click on the far right and it says About on there, I have all of my personal bests for the WCA events that I do listed on there for the single, average of 5, average of 12, and then average of 100. Uh, but keep in mind that most of those PVs are not up to date and uh, a lot of my personal bests, except for singles, I think all the singles are updated um, on that page, so you can go check out all my PVs on there. Who do you think would win in a fight between a grilled cheese sandwich and taco? This is a very good question, but there's many variables to who would win this fight. It depends on what kind of cheese and bread the grilled cheese sandwich would make out of and what kind of toppings the taco has, if it's soft or hard shell. But just off the top of my head, uh, uh, taco has a lot more unique capabilities in a fight over a grilled cheese sandwich. So I would have to put my money on the taco. But I don't gamble, so it's, it's really a toss-up on who would win. Who is your favorite band slash artist? This is the last question for today. It's a little bit shorter this week than it was last week. And my f I don't really listen to a lot of music, and that confuses a lot of people when I tell them that. I really only listen to music when I'm looking for music to use in a video, like if I was looking for one for this channel or my skiing channel. And I would generally start off by listening to music from uh, Imagine Dragons. They I used their song on top of the world for my World Championships video, and that turned out amazing. So I would kind of have to lean towards them. There are some other artists that I like, um, like uh, Laughlin, I met them, uh, I used their music in my video, they thanked me for using their music in my videos, and then uh, I think I used Lecrae one time too, and he's a rapper, really the only rapper that I like, I don't like a lot of rap music, but yeah. So that is all the questions I have for today. If you have a question or comment you want me to respond to in my next video, leave it in a comment below and I will do my best to get to it. If you had a comment on this video that I didn't answer, I'm sorry, but I don't have time to get to get all of them in each video, so that is it. I also did not have a really standout great gecko name. Uh, a lot of them were kind of cliche, so sorry. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.